Our next topic in one-dimensional motion is free fall. And so we're going to talk about the basic first. What do we mean by free fall? Well, because of gravity. Anytime a person drops an object, it accelerates downward at what we call the acceleration due to gravity, which we use the letter G to express, small letter G. And in metric units, it's minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Why do we call it minus? Because by definition, down is negative and up is positive. So here we have a, a person dropping an object. It accelerates downward at the acceleration of a minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So we take the equation of kinematics that we've been using for one dimensional motion and we'll write them slightly differently to account for the vertical motion. Also, acceleration here is a known quantity, always equal to g. So the first equation then becomes v in the y direction equals v initial in the y direction plus g times t. Now that's not a very good looking g and t, so let me write that again. So plus g times t. And even though I write plus g, we remember that g is actually a minus 9.8 meters per second squared. The second equation then becomes v in the y direction squared equals v in the y direction initially squared plus 2g times the change in the y. So now instead of writing change in x, we write change in y, which is y2 minus y1. And finally, the third equation will become, instead of x, we use y equals y initial plus v initial in the y direction times time plus one half g t squared. And here maybe I want to rewrite this. I think I want to write initial in the y direction like that so I stay consistent. So the three equations of kinematics look exactly the same except x we use y. When we use v we use a subscript indicating that it's velocity in the y direction. And finally instead of a acceleration we write g the acceleration due to gravity. And we will solve the problems in exactly the same way. Okay, so that would be a good introduction to free fall. Now in the next several videos, I'll show you some examples of how we actually utilize these equations and how we actually utilize free fall. The only difference here that we need to take into account is that with free fall, we can simply drop the object down. We can actually throw it down to give it some initial velocity in the y direction downward, or we can throw it up to give it some initial velocity in the y direction upward. Remember, when you throw it up, it's a positive velocity, initial positive velocity. And when you throw it down, it's an initial negative velocity in the y direction. So, but in the next examples, you'll see what I'm talking about. So stay tuned for the next several videos.